what's up guys welcome to another video happy to have you on here so today i have a question for you did you know you can have chat gpt on your computer totally offline well today i'm going to show you just how you can do that so there is this tool out there it's called gpt for all and basically it allows you to run locally um, learning language models LLMs you can run them locally on your computer it's very straightforward and easy to install so if you have been looking for ways to install Olama on your computer well you can make use of this and you're going to be doing it in just a few clicks so you want to head straight away to nomic.ai slash gpt for all and you'll be able to run large language models locally no internet required and privacy first and so when you come here you can directly click on download for windows for mac or for ubuntu and you're going to be able to download the software your chats are private and they never leave your device run language models on consumer hardware chat with your local files explore over a thousand open source language models and much more so straight away i'm going to show you a little bit what it looks like and how it works so once you have downloaded the software and installed it you're going to be presented with something like this this is the interface it's going to have on your computer and what you can do is head away straight into the chats so once you come into the chats if you don't yet have a language model installed it's going to prompt you to download a language model and then for example i already have a language model installed that's why you can see it here but if you don't you want to head straight away to models and it's going to show you how to download them so you can click on add model and here is a list of all the models you can download and install so you have two versions you have the versions where you can download and install them and you have other versions where you can just put in your API keys and then you'll be able to use them. For example, ChatGPT 4, you can just put in your key and you install it. And I think here you have to use it online for this one. But for the other ones where you get to download them, you just download them and they run locally. So you have different versions which work for different things specifically. So you have, um, take note of the sizes, they are quite large, 4 gigabytes, 1 gigabyte, and so on and so forth. So once you have downloaded it, now you can run it, you can chat with AI totally offline. So we'll go straight away and do just that. So yeah, we're going to load it. So the language model is loading, loading Lama 3.2.3b instructs. So models keep coming out every day, so you might want to always check for new updates. So let's go ahead, just say hello. So now one thing that is different with these local models is that they usually take some time to process your information. As you can see, it's taking quite a little bit of time just to process a simple instruction as hello. But once it does, it, the results are, it shows you the results. The reason why it does this is because it uses your GPU and your CPU to kind of analyze what you're saying. That's why it does take time to do that. So the, if you have a high-end computer, it takes a lot less time than if you have a low-end computer. So I'm running on an i7 with a GTX 1050 right now. So you can see how much time it's taking to just give me the response. So imagine if you have a computer less powerful than that, it's going to take way more time. But the more powerful your computer is, the less time it's going to take. So you see, it has given me the response and it's working totally offline. So let's just try and ask it for a little code. So give me the Python code to say hello world. Let's just give it that simple instruction and see what it can come out as a result. So you can access pretty much every information you need. You can equally give it access to your local files, for example. This is a local file that you can add and you'll be able to access this file and interact with the data in there. So you can access questions based on that file. It can be a text file, a document file, and so on and so forth, you know, so yeah. So this is basically how you can run ChatGPT very easily on your computer. So you just head to this website, you download the software. Once the software is on your computer, you go to models, you install a local model, and that's pretty much it. You know it comes directly you can do your charts on here so i find this very useful and very easy you know when you're looking for something quick you know want an ai quick and accessible without internet connection you can definitely make use of this one downside of this though is how slow it takes to respond to you but i think that just gets better with time with the more um, with um, recent 
updates or recent learning models I think they are trying to make it more optimized. I went with the one gigabyte learning model. Next time I'll try the four gigabytes and different ones to get uh, to see how they respond. If it's much faster or if it's way more accurate. Yeah. So that's pretty much how you can have um, GPT offline and help and help you. This is how you can have your learning language models offline, and you can be able to generate those answers without needing an internet connection. So definitely check it out. Let me know what you think about it and tell me if it is very accurate or if it's not able to answer your questions. So as you can see, throughout this time, it's still generating the response to the question and ask it, which was give me the Python code to say, hello world. So as you can see, the code is already coming, but it's really, really slow. So that's really a major downside. I hope they get to fix that very soon. So yeah, but it's already a good thing that there's an offline feature. Okay, so after a long wait, there you have it. That's the response. He was able to generate the code. And you can see he got the right answer. But next time we're going to try something much more complicated and see the response it gives to me. So there you have it, guys. That's how you can have AI or a version of ChatGPT running locally on your machine without internet. I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one.